Hello, Bugs. It's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have... Uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already please drop a line i would love a chance to be able to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the vi uh, videos uh just give you a good uplift or something you really resonate with you know please go ahead and share it's greatly appreciated and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas are you going through you know intense massive spiritual awakening anyone but this is t something totally different you're going through spiritual maturity toxic freedom you know, you need that. You, you're getting freedom from toxicity. You're maturing spiritually, you know, emotionally, mentally, you know, um, metaphysically. You know, it's beautiful. You know, it, it just feels like a Zen vibe. You know, um, being able to, you know, even though, um, you know, day by day, you got to go a day by day basis. You can't sit up here and say, you know, um, I'm, I'm just going to you know be positive every day or you know from every you know from this day forth you can't say that you know because be sometimes you really going through some stuff and it, it it can really blow you it really can blow you but it's just like when you're going through the spirit spiritual maturity you'll start seeing things in a different way and you know this video is going to be you know telling you what to look for you know when you're going through that you know, um, a lot of us been going through it, you know, especially it's been intense for us for the last few, you know, few years. And this, you know, it's only been, you know, uh, we, when we were hitting 2021, we were like, man, look, I, I hope this year is promising. You can be, you know, sit up here seeing different posts that people putting on social media, you know, hey, this is the season, you know, or, you know, this is the, 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 the year of new, new doors open for endless possibilities and, and promising opportunities, you know, um, and it, it could be that, that point where you, you've been going through it for real and you just really, you know, really, 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 really is just ready for that new leaf to turn over for you. And for that to happen, you know, like I've been saying for the last few few videos, you know, I like I took I, I took a hiatus for three, you know, three weeks, you know, at a time, and it was just like, you know, there'll be times that I I, I you know take a couple of days. I'll be sometimes I'll take a couple of you know uh, weeks off, and there'll be sometimes where I'll take a a couple of months off, and I'm telling y'all, hey, I'm gonna be gone for a minute, you know, I I just needed time to myself to regroup, you know. And just being able to see things in a different way. Because it was just like all the different stuff that was going on. Me, I'm like, what the heck is going on? And I start looking it up. And they were like, you're going through a spiritual transition. It's, it's spiritual maturity. You're, you're you know, uh, you're going through a toxic freedom. And you talk about, I, you know, I burst it out into tears. And it's just like about daggone time. God, dog. You know, and just really... um allowing myself to say you know what I'm, I'm appreciating this and when you're allowing yourself to you know go through that and you're saying I'm I'm not allowing myself to see everything that I faced you know as a, a, a yay or a nay but just seeing it was things that I faced you're gonna start seeing that everything that you went through gave you a dip, deeper understanding of learning who you were on a different level you know being to see is this something that you're enjoying is this something that's giving you excitement giving you spiritual chills like Ugh. you know I, I don't know what this is but i like it you need to like that when you start you know really sitting back and just you know even if you were in a funk yesterday you wake up today and say you know what i'm leaving that funk in yesterday whatever let me focus on what's going on today leave yesterday and yesterday you're not not worried about what's going to come tomorrow but let me allow myself to see what's going on today and see what i can twerk with it you know twerk with it work with it tweak with it weak with it you know and you know you're probably making up your own new dance you know being able to do that and it's just like you're maturing in every balance, you know, just being able to see that, you know, spiritual awakenings it is like you're awakening on a part of yourself that was spiritually, you know, uh, 
uh, closed down for a minute. It was down, you know, you going through spiritual, you know, down, uh, what was it? Um, closed for uh, construction, you know, and you're going through that. Make me think about that, Missy Elliott. What was it? Uh, it, it it's like, you know, under construction, that's what I meant to say. You're going through that because you're building yourself up, you know. We, we've been um, on those vibrations where we're unlearning the things that's been you know this been passed on from generation to generation that we had to unlearn we had to push a, a, a whole you know universal reset and those those are the things Ooh, they told me to write that down go ahead and write that down universal reset <laughs> I was like yeah girl write that down universal reset you know and you're going through that and it, it's just like when you start seeing everything it was just like dang you know, I was in a funk for so long or day. You know, I allowed everything to get to me. I allowed what, you know, the people that didn't want to see me thrive, I allowed them to get to me. I allowed them to stay in my head for so long, rent free. And, you know, and they were going about their business to see, you know, what the next person they can do that to. Or trying to see, you know, from a different thing they can put me through. You know, and I, and, and just... It, it would just be things that are out of my control. I allowed that to, you know, put me in a funk and, and just allow everything that was just irrelevant or things that it was just out of my, you know, out of my control to really control my, my emotions, my moods, how I seen things, how I spoke to people, how I spoke about myself, how I seen the world within a whole. And when you're allowing yourself to see where your issues lie at. You know what your problem was. You know your highs and your lows. You know it's not looking at everything like what was wrong with me. Nothing was wrong with you. You know nothing was wrong with you to the extent where you know I'm not saying nothing was wrong with you, but you seen what your issues was. That's what I'm trying to say. You seen what your issues were and where certain things just really needed to take your focus on. This is where I need to heal from. This is where I need to move on from. These are the things that I needed to accept. These are the things that I need to part away from. These are the things that need my comfort and more of my focus on. These are the things that just need to be out of my vibration and out of my focus. You know, it no longer serves me. It's not serving my highest good. You know, it, 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 it was occupying me for that version of myself that vibration of myself that access to that you know just like I, you know I even made a video about why uh, there's sometimes where we're just like how come certain people don't stay in our lives for too long how you know how come people leave me you have to understand people are only supposed to have access to you from that vibration you know, sometimes it, it's just that that vibration, this is the access that they needed from you at that time. They're learning f something from you that's very valuable. You know, you dropping that gem of some kind of experience, some kind of life lesson, some kind of uh, lesson that is going on. And it's, and it's coming, you know, both ways. We're learning off of that. And when we finally get that gist of that, then there's sometimes where, you know, they stay there and there's sometimes where they part ways. And you, when you're starting to see that this has helped me mold to a better person, you're maturing, you know. And there'll be different times that you're losing a lot of sleep, you know. And it's different when you're going through hardship. You know, a lot of times we're going through hardship in every way. That's what we tend to focus on. We're, we're depressed about this. We're sad about this. You know, we're just not seeing a way out. And those are the things that we've gone through. You know, we all of us go through it, but with us being empaths, we we go through it a lot deeper. You know, um, but then it is just like when you're going through that that spiritual awakening of uh, transition, you're not going to get that much sleep because you're getting you you did such a huge clearing, and when you did that huge clearing, it's all these this this. Uh, was it the upgrades, the downloads, you know, the create the creative vibes that's that's going on. You're seeing where that change really took place at. And this is the universe is like that nudge just saying, Yeah, you seeing where your opportunity can really flow to. You know, you're seeing that potential that we, tr we we had to show you through all these situations you were going through. See that that power you have. You know, nothing can dim your light. Being able to you know expand your self love you know allowing yourself to be solid on your boundaries start keep building that solid foundation you're building up something that can be your you know your universal empire you know your spiritual empire 
and these are the things that um that is really over you know uh, you know unfolding for you you're trusting the process you know you don't know where this is taking you to but you're allowing yourself to be excited to that and you're maturing in every way it's just like we're going through a spiritual puberty you know you're going through spiritual puberty and it, it is just like you know when I can say I'm looking at my stuff and, and it is just like, you know, I be laughing at when I, you know, a lot of time when I, in my videos, I'm like, girl, I really feel like you're on a spiritual value. I'm like, I am, you know, and it, it feels good to do that, especially when you, when you had so many different things that you were facing at the time. And it was just really hard for you to see that as, is in a positive. And then it's just like when you start getting up in the morning, you may, or even throughout the day, you may have an outburst of, emotional gratitude to where it's heavy on your heart where you're just crying you know you're crying tears of joy and you'll start noticing when you're interacting and being progressive you'll start noticing that your mind is not on things that that it can really drown you it can really make you feel like you're in an emotional setback and um you you'll start seeing i cleared that space you know i needed that you know i'm protecting myself i'm protecting my heart and I'm not talking about protecting your heart to where you're closed in, but you're protecting it from yourself from unwanted energy that is not going to be nurturing to you. You're being very selective. You're allowing yourself to see where your entertainment of focus has been. You know, your entertainment of frequency, your vibration, and really saying, I'm, I'm ready to virtual, you know, I'm ready to vibe towards that. I'm ready to move forward in that. I appreciate all the things that has um, helped me in my growth of life. I'm not no longer seeing, you know, my situations or the people I connected to was uh, a positive or a negative. But just sh showing that that was the experience that I had to experience for me to grow. You know, because we're all spiritual, you know, we're all gods and goddesses that had amnesia. You know, we had to go through things in life to where sometimes it has to be very triggering to be able to say there has to be something bigger than this. You know, it must be something I was forgetting. Is there certain things that I need to venture off to? Is there certain things that I have to make room for? Is there certain things I just really got to disconnect from? And you'll start seeing those different things. And you're, you know, you're going through when when you're losing a lot of sleep like i've been waking up and i just i love i've, I've been drinking like either water or tea water or tea water or tea because it feels like i'm detoxing and purging a lot of my oldness within that i get a lot of spiritual chills in different ways it is showing me you know a i need to take you know this this content this way or a you need to go ahead and use this or i'm um I might find something that was interesting and I'll write it down then. Then it's just like, no, you know, you're not in that vibration, you know, uh, vibration anymore. So it's, you know, that that's not need to be talked about. Or even when I'm in my videos, it's just like, hey, you know, there are certain things you don't got to talk about. There are certain things that you, you know, you don't need to mention. You know, it's not, is it relevant? No. Is it something that can really be promising towards you? Mm -hmm. Not really. I don't know. Okay, then leave it alone. Okay, just just straight, just navigate and go through that. You go on, you got your own spiritual GPS system. You know, it's gotten you towards something that you don't know where is. You don't know where is venturing you off to. But you're just as like, hey, make the left at uh, spiritual optimism, you know, and two clicks away, you know, let me like two clicks away. You're going to your own utopia. It's like what you're looking for is on the left. You know, it'll be some like going like that. I'm like, dang, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds kind of crazy. You know, when you were using that, you know, it's like turn left, reroute, reroute, you know, because we sometimes you begin to like, oh, sex, sex is getting on my nerves. It's like reroute, reroute, mm-mm, mm-mm. Go where well, you can turn around and go right back in, and you're going through that. And so, these are the things that's really uplifting to you. And congratulations if you're going through that, because then that also going through your spiritual maturity, even the little the little weights that you're you you know that you have conquered throughout the day, and it could be you know uh, I allowed myself to do a different activity day than I'm used to. You know, um, there are some people that really like doing puzzles. You know, do doing puzzle pieces or, you know, doing I like that uh, wordology. I think that's what it is that app on 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 uh, on your phone is wordology because it's making your mind, 
you know, stay active in different things. So it's just like I'm finding different activities that's really stimulating my vibration of my mind, you know, and not doing the same thing, you know, because a lot of times, you know, universe will always tell you, you know, see, see, see where your hidden gift is. You know, you ain't got to always constantly do the same thing over and over again. Find something new to venture off to, you know, um, go out, you know, interact with people. And I'm just like, I'm an introvert. I, you know, I love like working. I like, you know, helping people, but I'm just not a people person. It's like, how are we empaths that we want to change the world? But it's like, you, you'll see a lot of the posts like, I don't really like people, you know, being in that energy with all this mixed up stuff. And it's crazy. Before I went through a spiritual awakening, I used to constantly be in the club. I hung around with anybody, you know, and now it's like, you can't pay me to do, do that. You just can't pay me to do that, you know, but I know it's at that time of my life where I need to start venturing out, you know, venturing out. You can go ahead and spray your rose water on you and, you know, your fusion and, and your essential oils. You had it, you have your, you know, your, your crystals in your bra or you have it in your satchel or your man purse, a fanny pack, whatever, and, you know, and go ahead. You know, be adventurous. You know, even there's sometimes like, Lord, let me go ahead and pray. And sometimes you even got to put that spiritual bubble around you because it could be, you know, especially, you know, when you, when I, when you go to the store, you know, and it's just like the littlest thing. You just don't know the little adjustments you're doing can make such a big impact later on, you know, because I used to be that type of person, especially if I go to Walmart. It's like my main stores I go to is Dollar Store, the gas station, Walmart, where if I feel like, you know, because I usually love cooking at home, so I really don't you know like going out to eat it stuff like that so I really like cooking but when I used to go out to Walmart and I had to go get my supplies for the week or for the month or whatever like that I used to always wear shades and headphones and just for me going in there and going in there and I didn't have to have my headphones on today or the next time I went I didn't have to have my shades on or you know the next time I went I didn't have neither one on of them on and just I always have my list so I just get what I need to get or if I'm on a budget I just make sure I either get one of them little little carts or the little baskets or just don't get nothing at all because I know it's like oh you know you need to save your money so you just get everything in one of, one of your hands and stuff like that so you know you know you really budgeting yourself and then it's just like you you know being able to keep a little checklist you'll notice that you're starting to you know you're starting to do a lot of journaling and you you'll just start they always tell you you know when you you know the goals that you want in your life and then you're you know they're always asking you how are you going to go about that and then when you're putting that vision board down they always tell you even the look the slightest change that you have write that down and when you will start, you know, because sometimes we can get down and out and get discouraged, you know, when things are not really moving in that speed that we hope we are. But you have to understand, in spiritual view, the mess is going multi, you know, multi-million clicks, like millispeeds. Here is going to be going like this. It's just like my, me, and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You can go over one of those you know one of those other you know dimensions or something like that it can be five minutes here but shoot next you know it'll be two years there you just don't know what you don't know what's moving for you and what dimension you don't know what's going on behind the scenes that they're working for you because they all you know it, it reminds it's like when i notice i say certain things in my videos there'll be a vision i'll get and it'll just be like when you are allowing yourself to ask for universal assistance and say, you know, I know everything is going in my favor or, I'm, you know, let me ask universe for just help me move. You know, I feel very stagnant right now. I need to help move. And when you're when you when you did that and you asked for that assistance and you start noticing how you looked at things, you start noticing how you spoke about things, you start tweaking those. You when you're going through that, you're going through a spiritual maturity. You'll start going through, you know, just like when you go through Kundalini, Dark Night of the Soul, uh uh what 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 else is it? the ascension you're going through that and plus you know with all these portals is coming open and, and then with the atmosphere with the different planets is coming in um uh retroactive 
you know, you're moving with that. And a lot of times it's going to need you in solitude. You're going to be comfortable with that. You're seeing that you're enjoying the, the part of you being, um, you're not feeling alone. This is giving you that opportunity to focus on what is, what is needing my attention right now. If I want to feel better, am I exercising? Am I doing my mantras? Am I doing my affirmations? Am I showing gratitude, you know, right before I, you know, I go to bed? Am I, um, showing my gratitude when I w wake up? in the morning am I giving God thanks for waking me up the next day you know showing the gratitude of what I faced yesterday or what he got me through today what he put you know what he protected me throughout the week and giving that gratitude to that you're going to start showing that that's your spiritual maturity you're going to go through you know there will be times when you're going through so much rapid transition through your spirit you know, it can feel very heavy. You know, certain things will come up that really shook you to the core. It really broke you. But then you're going to see that. And it, it may hit your heart, but it may hit you different. You're like, oh, I remember that. You know, um, different things is coming up. Because it's just like when I have my wallpaper, it'll be so many people that I truly loved. You know, that passed away. And all of a sudden, either it'll be a song that reminded me of them or a memory will be of them or a picture will come up and I'll get so emotional that's showing me that they're protecting me through my journey they're there with me during my journey even though they're not physically here anymore spiritual they're 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 carrying that weight for me and being able to give me that nudge hey you're doing a good job or hey look at what you're doing now remember we were trying to tell you, you can do this and look at what you're doing you're finally doing what we gave you the courage to tell you you're going through this. Even though you don't know what's unfolding for you, you're giving your chance for that self for you to go through that transition that you needed. And then you're noticing the toxic habits you used to go. You know, and that's basically what we're going through in our spiritual awakening. You're going through things where they're trying to get you out of your old habits, unprogramming yourself, unlearning things to learn something else breaking away from things that you thought that was true you know taking the chains off of limited you know a limited beliefs within yourself you know breaking away from every addiction you know and those are the things that showing you you're getting that toxic freedom you know um and those are the things that uh really show you those signs that you're really going through spiritual maturity and toxic freedom so you know if you're going through that you know congratulations if you drop you know drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you know it's like hey Rosalind, i can really resonate with these different um signs you told me to look out for now it gives me an understanding because it's like even when you don't sleep and you're waking up energetic and saying oh i need to do this or oh i need to do that and you're adding on more creativity to the purpose that they they led you towards that's letting you know you're going through that spiritual maturity and these are the things that's truly you know truly promising for you so congrats you know keep, keep congratulating yourself even on your tiny victories because somewhere down the line it's going to impact it and you're going to have a a massive graduation so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of that video y'all i would love to give a post notification shout out to uh john mccormick uh rian uh rock robertson and elizabeth brown welcome to the fam you know if you're new to the fam you know welcome it's good to have you please drop me a line i would love the chance to get to know you um i'll leave all my contact information in the description box below as well as the link to my podcast if you're connected with me on um facebook and ig i will be sharing those there as well you know my podcast the videos you know um so make sure you have your notifications on for that for all and i forgot to keep saying that you know because a lot of times i'm like Roz, you know hey i'm seeing all these new videos and i haven't got a notification make sure you have all on there because it was supposed to be with the algorithm it should be showing you every time somebody drops something so you have to make sure that's on um uh like i said i'll be leaving the link to my podcast i'm doing that uh i will uh moment uh frequently start getting back doing my um uh, my chats you know doing support chat support where it's helping you get through different stages of your transition you know um I always tell y'all drop a line you know tell me what you uh you may be uh you know really dealing with you know while i make a video on that i love when y'all do that you know um or if i feel like if there's something that needs to be talked about at that moment so we can interact and i love spiritual spiritually and virtually interacting with y'all you know so we can have a chat because it's been a long time so i'm gonna start
start doing that frequently and stuff like that and you know just dropping that gym to be able to say hey you know um, I'm having chat support or hey I'm doing live and vibe you know I'm live and uh, live and vibe and it's going to be at such and such Eastern, Eastern Standard Time you know hopefully I'll be able to connect with you in that way you know so you can you know set that reminder and be able to that hey let me go ahead and and drop with her you know um because I, I like I said I've been getting a lot of text messages and emails and stuff like that and DMs like Rosalind, when you gonna start chatting, girl? I miss you and stuff like that. I'm like I miss y'all too, and I love y'all. And it, it, you know, it feel good to be missed like that, you know. Um, and I love interacting with y'all, you know. And it's just like it's a very, um, I love being able to have a community where you're caring about each other. You know, you're really wanting to see each other heal. You're really wanting the best out of each other. You know, you're trying to get to a better place in your life. So it, it's just like being able to have a community where you say you're not alone. Hey, we're all focusing on that. We're all going through this. You know, I'm not alone. There's somebody who really understands me. You know, there's a community that's open for me to really get my quirkiness, my kookiness, and my quirkiness. And you know what? Hey, yeah. You know, we 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 the tribe of the tricksters. So that's good. You know, be joking a little bit. Be like, you know, gotta get it. Like, you know, it would really be going on it. So you know, I'm, I'm gonna be doing that. And um. You know, whatever you're manifesting into your life, you know, hey, trust and believe. Keep going. Be consistent. Keep going. Enjoying the transition you're going through. Get into that vibration of getting, you know, seeing something good out of that situation. Even though you got so many things that's going on around you. And that's where the challenges really come in at. Even when you're going through the hellish stuff in your life, there's some kind of taste of heaven that's preparing for you. So focus on that. You know, that's where your that's where your healing starts at when you allowing yourself to be selective about what you focus in on, because that that's really where your you know, your vibration of transition going to really go to. So whenever this drops, I don't know if it's going to drop on the weekend, because like I said, I've been, you know, I, if I be directed to, you know, do a whole lot of videos at a certain period of time, wherever it is, you know, hey, uh. I want you to be, please be, be responsible, be safe, you know, knowing that vibrations, whether it's on the week or during the weekend, I'm sending harmonious vibrations your way, whether it's going to be, um, uh, you know, calming, healing, you know, uh, 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 prosperity abundance you know positive you know loving vibes towards your way because you truly deserve that so you know staying open to um infinite possibilities for you you never know how close your pop you know possibilities of well not possibilities your endless possibilities of infinite blessings that's what i meant to say so much love peace